there's um there's guys being rumoring to move up in weight, a Terrence Crawford, um, maybe an Earl Spence, uh, maybe even a drawn Boots Ennis. Um, guys mm-hmm. that go uh those are huge fights. I know that you as a fighter was like, yes, yes, and yes to all three. But what's your thoughts mm-hmm. on maybe having a fight with one of those potential guys if those opportunities present itself? Yeah, uh, you know, with Earl Smith and Terrence Crawford, those are like, you know what I'm saying, former world champions, world champions, und- two-time undisputed champions. So that's a legend, you know what I'm saying? So I'd be honored to get in the ring with the legend like Terrence Crawford. And Earl Smith, you know, he's a, a unified champion at 147. So that's another great, that's a big deal. And, you know, Jerron who's in this, he's a world champion at 147 right now. So these are all champions. So them, of course, they're all great fights that I'm looking forward to in the future. Um, I see myself in the ring with all those guys and putting on great performances with any one of them. But like I said, that's that's those are legendary fights. Like those fights that don't push you into that legendary status, fighting guys like that. Those are mm-hmm. legendary fights. Those are fights you, you see every, you know what I'm saying, every uh every gener- like once a generation. Making no, you are, you being like a a pure bred, like hundred percent fighter. Like I'm willing to take the smoke. You know, obviously, markability is great, having big shine fights. Or, but do you get more excited if you had, like, an opportunity to fight for an actual pound-for-pound pound fight or a fight that everyone's going to watch, kind of like um, a big market fight, like a Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia? Like, I feel that maybe fans might feel Ryan may not be the biggest fight I'm, in his career. Yeah. Okay. I mean, those still are big fights. You you talking about Ryan Garcia, he still is one of the best in the division. You know what I'm saying? You can't count him out. So I would be excited to fight anybody in the top ten. I feel like anybody in the top ten, those are any those are fights to get excited about. Anybody in the top ten, those are fights to get excited about. Those are fights that, you know what I'm saying, the best versus the best. So if you ain't excited about a top ten fight, then I don't know what to say. So are you giving Ryan a chance in that Devin fight? You know, I know you you golden boy now and but I know you're a, a pure boxing fan. So is is Devin still the favorite to you or or is that fight 50-50? Of course that no, that, that, that of course Devin's the favorite. I think Devin will win. But I think he's gonna be competitive for like the first three or four rounds and then I think Devin gonna take off. So that's just my opinion. Okay. And obviously another marketable fight is potentially to be rumored, not hundred percent, but Javante and Frank Martin. I mean, geez, these fights are just popping out, but does that fight excite you as well? And if so, who do you think wins that fight? Oh uh, yeah, that's a that's an intriguing fight. I think Javante is fighting somebody uh athletic as him. Just as athletic, just as you know what I'm saying, skillful. So I think it's gonna be a, a good fight, but I'm definitely gonna get the edge to Javante. I just, he has a different type of power. I feel like he just has a different type of a, a fighter. He's just a different type of fighter. But I think it may be competitive, like I said, for the first four rounds, and I think Javante probably take off. How do you fight an athletic fighter who's like very explosive? Like, um that just Who's smart, picks his shots, but then any moment can knock you out. Are you are cautious in the visual or, or do you put pressure on them? Like kind of the whole Charles Conwell way where they kind of can't get their shots off. I think that um I think that is it all is I feel like it goes fighter for fighter. You can't I can't can tell you how to fight Javante Davis and tell you how to fight David Haney. I'm not gonna fight them two, probably the same. I'm not gonna fight Shakur, Javante Davis, and fucking and Devin Haney the same. They all athletic, great athletic fighters. They all real athletic, real good fighters, but can't fight neither, neither one of them the same. But all bring mm-hmm. different things to the ring. But so it just goes by a fighter by fighter basis. Awesome. You know, of course, before I let you go, I I do have to ask, um, just simply. You know, with the new signing, uh, has Golden Boy given you any type of potential timeline? When you'll be fighting? Where you'll be fighting? Any anything to keep an eye out on so that we can? Oh yeah, see for the sure. They, uh, oh, yeah, for sure. They said the end of April, so I'm locked in for the end of April sometime. I don't know which card it'll be, but the end of April they said. So I'm just I'm already in the gym. I've been already in the gym training. I'm just locked in, keep getting better, and 
you know, growing as a fighter. So in the eight, look out for something for the end of April. Hopefully, I know something in the next week or so.